Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be making red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting. I make this cake several times a year and it's one of my favorites. So keep watching and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is prep our cake pans. So what I did was I cut out some parchment paper and I'm gonna spray cooking spray in the bottom of my pan add in my parchment paper and spray some more. And what that does is it keeps your cakes from sticking to the pan. This particular cake that we're making is very, very moist and I've made it many times. And what I've noticed is that because it's so moist, sometimes I have a hard time getting the cake out of the pan. So I like to use the parchment paper because it's just easier. I have flour and sugar here, and then I have salt, baking soda, and cocoa powder. Okay, so first you're going to sift your dry ingredients. And what this does is it aerates and breaks up any lumps that are there. Next, in a separate bowl, we add in vegetable oil, buttermilk, eggs, food coloring, vinegar, as well as vanilla extract. Then we're going to add the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and mix on a low speed for about two minutes. Now we divide the cake batter between both cake pans and bake at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Now let's move on to the cream cheese frosting. You take softened cream cheese and butter along with vanilla extract and beat them until they are creamy. What I normally like to do when I begin prepping is to take my cream cheese and butter out of the fridge so that they can get to room temperature. Once they are creamy, you're going to add in half a bag of powdered sugar you may want to sift your sugar to get the lumps out beforehand. Then we add in a little bit of milk and continue to beat on a high speed. Then add in the rest of the powdered sugar and a bit more milk. If you're using a hand mixer to make this frosting, you're going to have to crank it up and beat the ingredients well until the consistency of the frosting is silky smooth. Once your cakes are done and out of the oven, allow them to cool in the pan for about 20 minutes. Then run a spatula or knife around the edge and invert the cakes. If you notice, these cakes do not bake very high at all. So what I did was I split them into four layers. You can use a cake leveler or a serrated knife to do this or you can do what I did with a regular knife. At the midpoint of the cake layer, insert the knife but not all the way through. Rotate the cake and go all the way around the cake once. This allows you to mark where you are going to slice the cake layer evenly. Stop. 
Now here I'm adding some frosting to my cake board to keep my cake layers in place. Because I refrigerated my frosting overnight, I had to make sure that the frosting sat out long enough to reach the right consistency. Consistency is key when frosting a cake. I added about one cup of frosting between each cake layer. When you're frosting a cake, make sure the spatula only touches the frosting. Do not press down too hard. Your spatula should not be touching the cake itself at all. This whole thing's got way too deep and we so stop making it a big deal. As you can see, those small layers, when split and with adding one cup of frosting in between, makes for a much higher cake. No, I didn't bake more cake. This is just the magic of splitting a cake. Here's a tip when frosting your red velvet cake. Make sure to wipe off your spatula before you dip it into your frosting bowl so that any crumbs won't get into the frosting. So I added on a layer of frosting to trap the crumbs, refrigerated the cake for 20 minutes. Now I'm going back and adding more frosting. Okay, now this part is completely optional, but I took some chopped pecans and added them to the sides of the cake. If you aren't good at frosting cakes, it covers up any imperfections that your cake may have. I also had some cake crumbs left over, so I went ahead and added them to the top of the cake. This red velvet cake is hands down one of my favorites. The recipe is by Cake Man Raven. I have all of the details in the description box of this video. I hope you all enjoyed my tutorial. Give this cake a try, it's great for the holidays. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your support. Follow me on Instagram at pinchmetwice. Thanks for watching.